guys, Justin Hatfield here with His Reigns Equine doing a weaver tip of the day. So I have right here Sophie. She's a yearling. Uh, we were able to buy this past summer. Uh, I'm really excited about her coming into next year. Gosh, I've got big plans for her in her two-year-old, three-year-old year. But what I want to do is I want to kind of lay a foundation before fall comes all the way in and winter comes. I want to kind of lay a foundation that way next spring when I go to start her under saddle, it makes my transition a lot easier. So with Sophie here, they did a really good job, the folks we bought her from, of kind of just sacking her out to a lot of different things. They made it to where you can love on her all over, her feet are easy to handle, so she's really gentle in that way. But what I want to start doing is I want to start taking a pad and a saddle and start putting it on her as a yearling. Because if I can develop that foundation now and get her solid as a yearling, next year that puts me leaps and bounds when I go to start her next spring. So just like any horse, uh, when you go to put a pad or something on them, you just kind of want to come up here and rub it on them, let them see it, let them smell it, and then just set it in place. Like I said, she's a pretty darn gentle filly. They did a really good job with her, and I'm excited to see what we'll be able to do and where we'll be able to grow. So once I get that pad on there, I'm just going to kind of reach over here and pat on her all over and just let her learn that she doesn't need to have a care in the world about this. This is just normal. Because if we can create this as normal, then look at where we can go. I've had the opportunity to start quite a few colts and a lot of times they don't come to where they're this gentle and you spend three weeks or a month just getting them to this point where one, if you can start them, like this when it comes to being under saddle it makes life so much easier here i've got just a youth saddle it's not a real heavy saddle she's not real big yet so i don't want to put something too big or heavy on her so i'm just going to take my youth saddle and go up here and just set it on her just like she's a broke horse now granted your horse your young horse might not take this as easy as my young horse but all that it takes is practice it takes time energy and practice. When I get that saddle on there, I'm just going to come around here and pat on it, make a lot of noise with it, and let her hear it, let her see it. Good. She kind of wants to step into that saddle rack, so I'll step her out of the way to keep her safe so that she doesn't get scared. See how she gave that real big sigh there? She accepted what I'm doing. To finish up, I'm just going to go on in. Like I said, I'm going to act like she's a broke horse. I'm going to come under here. I'm going to grab that cinch. Of course it's too big. She's a yearling. But I'm going to come here and I'm just going to tug on it a little bit. Let her see the sights and sounds. That way next spring, when I go to start this filly, half of my work's already done. I hope this is beneficial to you guys. Weaver has done a great job providing us with some great products. We love to use them. I hope you guys too learn something and uh, we'll visit with you soon. Have a great day.